you've got ports on your chassis that you may not be using or you were using and are no longer needed. You've got to have a cookie cutter configuration for what to do on all of your ports. If a port is unused, disable it. If a port is an access port, make it an access port. And also, if you happen to have a port accidentally enabled, put it into a quarantine. Let's do these three things together to make sure we are confident in the recommendations that are being made. The first recommendation is this. Turn off our unused ports. And let's get a survey of unused ports. Show interface status. This is the best command to do the job. I'm not using ports 3 through 23. So we'll do an interface range. And I said 3 through 23, but it's really 3 through 24. Do a shutdown command. That's going to turn it off. We'll wait for all the rigmarole to go. Great. Another recommendation was don't give the opportunity to trunk to your environment. That's really, really dangerous. DTP is running on your ports by default. Let me show you. Do a show run interface on some ports that I'm, in fact, using. Okay, so right now, this port has got a voice VLAN, and it's, it's in VLAN 10. I could be running a little bit more classically close to the default if I do this command. If I just say, no, switch port mode access. Very dangerous to work this way. It'll still be running as an access port. which I can confirm with this. Operationally, we're static access, but we are administratively in dynamic auto. That means there's potential to trunk to this switch over this port. That's bad. So you want to do switch port mode access to get rid of your dynamic auto or dynamic desirable state on any of your access ports very important that you do this. You should also do this on your unconfigured ports. So in fact, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to say int range. And I'm going to say switch port mode access just to make sure that now I'm working the way that I want. So what we'll do is this. I'll reissue this command. And now, I'm administratively static access. There's no potential to trunk to this port. Very powerful, absolutely a recommendation or a requirement for a production environment. Finally, let's, let's give people another barrier. If they happen to be logged into our switch somehow on a port that we didn't expect them to be in, let's place all of our unused ports and an isolated VLAN, basically a VLAN that doesn't have connectivity. Let's build that. Let's build that. So I'm going to go to the VTP primary switch that's involved in my environment. I'm going to do a show VLAN brief, and let's come up with a VLAN that's the quarantine. So I'm going to put it in the 900 range where all my special VLANs live, VLAN 985. Name, quarantine. Spelled correctly, hopefully I did. I'll exit out. I'll confirm that ASW1 got that. Again, VTP v3 is running, just to speed up my demonstrations. And we've got that VLAN, great. What do I want to do now? VLAN 985. There are some administrative changes that I can do. Say state suspend. 
see if VTP is going to relay that. So this VLAN is now suspended. Another barrier for people. This is just simply ports in this are not going to work. So then what we do is this. We're going to do interface range, all my ports that I'm not using, and let's put them. Switch port, access, VLAN, 985, do show a VLAN brief, and boy, we are really messing with people who are trying to get connectivity to our ports. Their ports are shut down. Their ports are put into a suspended state, or the VLAN is suspended. Good luck breaking through connectivity on these ports. You'll need it because it's not happening.